Well, back to spring break now, officially kicking off this week. In Brownsville over the weekend, though, four people arrested for DWI. Police concerned about what the rest of the week might look like. Channel 5's Crystal Martinez joins us now live, and she spoke with a woman whose life changed because of a drunk driver. She has her story. Crystal? Oscar, that's right. It definitely changed her life. Uh, basically, she woke up with a knock on her door from police that said, unfortunately, we have some heartbreaking news. Your sister has just been killed by a drunk driver. Now, that was just around this time of year, 16 years ago. And she says even 16 years later, it is still vividly etched in her memory. I was actually the one that um, opened the door when the police got there to give us the news. And um, sorry. Aire Hernandez says her family was torn apart after a drunk driver got behind the wheel of a car. My sister, my brother-in-law, and a friend of theirs were killed by a drunk driver. Hernandez says she never expected to say goodbye to her sister, 23-year-old Cynthia Hernandez Carrion. What would you have to tell them? Please don't. Don't. I, it just, it happens all the time. I hate to hear about it. I hate that it still happens. Um, you know, just get a designated driver. You, nobody else has to go through this. The Brownsville Police PIO says this time of year, they're on high alert, watching for drivers who have been drinking. DWIs and DUIs actually go on a rise during spring break. Uh, it's a time where uh, a lot of uh, college kids uh, come down, especially like to the island, and they start uh, partying, having some fun. But the end result could prove disastrous, something Hernandez knows all too well. As far as the person who caused the accident, um, I don't, I don't, I mean, I think they just went out and were having fun and decided, you know, that they were okay to drive and went and killed three innocent people. You can actually cause uh, uh, the death of some of uh, someone, either yourself or, or maybe the other passenger who is completely innocent of this. Our police say those DUIs can also get pretty expensive. We're told around 18,000 just to hire a lawyer. Now that's compared to 20, maybe $30 for getting a cab. So keep that in mind. Live in McAllen, Crystal Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.